Eiffel. London, 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 London. Eiffel. This is James Holder for Eiffel London. I'm at the Gilgamesh Camden Town uh, for the David Hay, Derek Chisora press conference, the final press conference. With me, I've got Derek Chisora's uh, trainer, Don Charles. How are we doing, Don? I'm doing very well. We meet again. Again? This, you're following me about? This is becoming very regular, my friend. You know? It's nice, thinking. though. You're a nice guy, so I don't mind meeting you every time. Yeah, I've got a little bit of time for you as well, Don. You're growing on me. Growing on me, sir. I'm very infectious. <laughs> in that case, step a couple of steps back away from me, Don, yeah? In a good way. Oh, that's, that's, that's good. It's good no, very good. I enjoy your company. You know that. Um, how do you think the press conference went today, Don? I'm very smooth and, you know, listen, whenever it comes to this part of, uh, the, of the program, um, the fighters are on edge, you know, um, so they say things, you know, that's the nature of the, of the game. That, you know, uh, this is how, how, what makes the boxing the, the, one of the most interesting uh, sports in the world because, you know, it captures everybody's imagination. Emotions are like at peak level, you know. Um, I must admit, I'm very emotional about this actual fight, this particular fight. I don't normally get too emotionally involved, but I'm I'm, I'm emotionally involved in this fight. Uh, Derek, in my opinion, looked the calmest I've seen him look. He kind of is it because the deal's done. He's calm. He knows yeah, the fight's on. Look, you know, yeah, you know, Derek. Like I said, I've always said I repeat is um, when this fight was first announced, Derek pulled me to one side and asked me to remain calm during preparation yeah. and if my fighter is asking me to remain calm so that tells you his state of mind he knows what what's at stake he knows what he's got to do we've done we've, we've practiced like we always do what uh, what it's going to do on the night and um he's very calm you you witnessed it he's very calm and and on the fight night he'll be calm because you can't go in any fight with a uh, uh, being too angry because you won't be able to execute what you can normally do if, if you're you know if, if you're not calm you have to be calm he looks very fit this is the fittest i've seen him look he to me he looks fitter than when he fought klitschko would, would that be a fair statement well yeah it would be a first fair statement because we're always striving to improve in, in all aspects as a trainer i want to get him fitter technically i want to get him better in all areas we want to improve yeah so you're going to always see don't forget derek that is peaking he hasn't peaked yet he's peaking between he's 28 now between the next two years to three years he would you will see the best of Derek Chisora and that's I'm excited good times um, see Derek giving a lot of interviews today it's, it's kind of a rumor that Derek doesn't like the media I think he personally likes half likes me or kind of tolerates yeah. me a little bit but yeah. he, he seemed to be a bit more with it today would you say that's yeah. fair Derek is always misunderstood you know like I said he has a certain because you guys are meeting him regular now He's fighting big fights, regular. So that gives everybody an opportunity to, start to start to understand and know this character. He's a personality. He's not. He's not boring. Do you know what I mean? People are always like, what is he gonna do? What you know? He's very unpredictable. Exactly. And you know, this is this is what makes makes um. You always remember the ones like Derry. You don't remember fighters who would have come here, sat here. Yeah. If even David helped to a certain uh, extent, he he's also an exciting guy who. He's unpredictable also. So these guys are good for the business. That's what boxing needs. The characters such as David Hay, Derek Chisora. You need people who who make people's imaginations start to, you know, imagine things, you know? Um, this is the countdown to the fight now, the weigh-ins tomorrow. Do you anticipate Derek making the weight? Everything's good, he's he's on target? Making the weight. We we know weight, what weight we we want to come in, and we've trained for that weight. And I'm sure David Hayes' camp, he, they've got a good idea of what weight they want to fight at. So, yeah, we're, we're, on, we're on course because um, they're heavyweights, so they don't actually have to make weight, but there's a target weight we want to fight at. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're at that weight. How's sparring been? Last question. Um, it's good sparring. I heard Nathan cleverly came and uh, had a spar with Derek. Yeah, I mean, in, invaluable to get that type of quality sparring. Uh, a world champion and um, on, on beating, may I add. We also had Joe Hanks, who's a heavyweight, American heavyweight, up and coming, 20 and do. He's undefeated, isn't he? Uh, 20 and do on, on beating. And um, he apparently, he was in two camps with the Klitschko's. When they fought David Hay, when Vladimir Klitschko fought David Hay, um, he, he, was, he was the chief sparring partner for Vladimir Klitschko. So he replicates what David Hay does. I'm not gonna just say this for the sake of it, even better, yeah? He is faster. He's bigger, and to me, as a coach, yes, he, it, the sparring we've gotten for this um, campaign has been A1. There's also a uh, cruiserweight, Chris uh, Keane. Chris Keane, he's a very, uh, one to watch out for. I think he's only five or 
five and oh and but the kids you gotta watch out for this kid is is um is very good. Well Don, just because of the sheer amount of media here to talk to yourself, I'm gonna wrap this up. Always I wanna thank you for your time and uh, well done it's with getting always, it's always a pleasure. You know, I film London, I predict these guys, you guys, you're you're the future, trust me, on on, on the internet thing. Very kind words, Don, thank you. That, no, I mean it because it's it's the truth. I'm, I'm genuinely humbled by that comment. Thank you very much. Thank you to you. James Holder with Don Charles for I Film London. Thank you very much. Yeah.